What's up guys, it's Captain Production 72 with the third installment of collecting every Clone Wars minifigure. And this one's cool because it's the first episode where I've actually went and tracked down minifigures specifically for. The first episode of this was getting all the kind of non-clone trooper figures I had and, you know, sticking them on the stand. The second episode, which we filmed around a week ago, um, or went up around a week ago, was, you know, taking all those clone troopers from the... Other series I was doing since that finished, adding them to the stand, along with the occasional other minifigure like Battle Droids or the R2. But we've actually got some minifigures here. I ended up buying a set as well that I was after, kind of just to add to this. But we're going to get started. Um, we're gonna just going to go in order of where year they're in. So we're going to start off with the oldest year we got, and that's 2009. And here we have the first version of this minifigure. He did also have a Revenge of the Sith version in 2012. We have Viceroy Newt Gunray. Pretty cool if you're looking for a separatist leader. Just one of those mini figures that I feel is forgotten about. He's also on the 2011 advent calendar as well as the separate shuttle. He goes up the top here between Anaconda Far and Chancellor Palpatine. So pretty cool mini figure right there. Jumping into the next one that we have got is in 2011. And that being... The iconic kind of Death Watch Mandalorians. These guys were in the battle pack. They were also in that um, Mandalorian Starfighter. Pretty cool. They had really weird looking heads. But, you know, a nice minifigure nonetheless. And it's one of the only battle packs where you've got four of the same minifigure. I don't think many can tote that. And it's a cool battle pack. So, this minifigure goes right between the Senate Commando and the Arf Trooper. You know, which is nice. Because in this episode, we're kind of making some lines here that weren't already there. Which is nice. Speaking of which, let's jump into some Jedi action. So the set that I bought, you might be able to see what set it is by the time, you know, I'm doing this with the figures. We have Ceci Tin, which is a really cool minifigure. He did also have a Revenge of the Sith version from 2012, ironically. Really cool minifigure from 2011. He goes right here in front of Cad Bane. Um, for anyone wondering, I don't know if I've mentioned it in other episodes, this is using the Brexit system. So I went through Brexit, checked all the figures that are listed under Clone Wars, and just wrote them down by the in the order that the website presents them. But there we've got Ceci Tin. Our next mini figure, which is also from the same set, which will guarantee you will give this set away. We have Shock T, which is a rare mini figure, really nice figure as well. Like I miss when Lego did Jedi's like this. We don't get a lot of different Jedi's now, but back in the day, we pretty much got a good chunk of jedi this is one of those minifigures from t6 jedi shuttle which is the set that i ended up buying it's a cool set i wanted it for the army and kind of fighting a little bit in gorex i'm like hey i'd want some of the figures from it but that's an example of what i'm talking about so in some cases i'm not just gonna buy the figures outright the set the only figures we're adding today were though that came directly from a set you know purchased by me was cc tin and shock t but next to the luminara minifigures nice to have a whole bunch of jedi kind of grouped together i do like that a lot our next minifigure is also from 2011 and it is another jedi 2011 we did get quite a few jedi i mean what cc 10 shock t and this one here luminara are all um 2011 minifigures we have the droid attack on the wookies himself kiari mundi from the geno's and starfighter really cool minifigure that special piece for its head one of those minifigures who does have a modern remake from 2018, but this one's pretty cool. Plus, the newer one's a movie one. But yeah, we're going to put it in there next to the Geonosian from that set. Looks really good. But as you can see, it kind of fills in some gaps. I love it when we fill in big areas. Um, The next minifigure that we are going to add is... I feel a forgotten figure, but it's the Commando Droids. These were cool. I remember seeing these in the Clone Wars before they became a minifigure. And when they became a minifigure... It was pretty cool. These are 100% figures that I would love to see again. And that, and they're an amazing color as well. So he goes in front of Kiari Mundi. He is the 2012 minifigure from the Elite Contra vs. Commando Droids Battle Pack. Moving on to our next minifigure that we're going to add. It is from an iconic set. We already added the minifigure in the last episode. We have Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is the Bark Speeder version version of Obi-Wan. Pretty cool minifigure. Do really enjoy this one. Just an extra one to have. I does have a back phase, which a lot of the Clone Wars figures don't. Fun fact. But yeah, he goes right next to Rex from that set. It's a shame. Um, 
Yeah, the other main figures from that set aren't directly next to them, as far as I'm aware, but that, I might be wrong. The next minifigure we've got, and it's the last classic Clone Wars one we're adding, is also from 2013, and it's the Umbaran Soldier, which is real. Oh, there we go. Got a weird head there. Really nice minifigure. Um, I would not mind building an army. Of these are relatively affordable that way. This minifigure goes right next to the 212 clone trooper because they were both in the Umbaran MHC. Now, our last minifigure that we are adding is a really cool one, but I do prefer the original 2010 one, which you can see next to the Mandalorian there. We have the Senate Commando Captain, which is nice, a nice minifigure. Does not have that clone head, but again, these guys were not clones in Star Wars canon. They were trained civilians. This minifigure is from 2015 and goes right next to the 2014 Shock Trooper. But, yeah, that's all the minifigures we've added. It's the most I'll do, probably, in a single episode, apart from the last one. Like, it's the most figures I'll order, specifically, because, as I've said, yeah, two of them came from a set, sure, but... Um, but, yeah... Like I said, I can't think of any sets that have that many figures in it. Like, the only set that comes to mind is having a lot that would go on this is the Bounty Hunter Assault Gunship, which ironically does pair up with the T6. Um, which, as I said, I plan to buy maybe for the next episode. I don't know, but it's already looking really cool with those minifigures. I love this little Jedi section we got going on here. And, you know, it's nice to add ki Adi mundi and the Commando Droid in. And, you know, fill in these little gaps here. Cause kinda make, cause it's kind of this general area here that needs filling. And, you know, for the most part, I do have the majority of the classic minifigures. It was nice to get um, that Mandalorian in there. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you then.